Hello everyone and welcome to Varmore Things. Feel free to follow me and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you and I hope you'll enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another budget Magic the Gathering video. First of all, thank you guys for all the support I'm receiving right now. This is unbelievable. We almost reached 50 subscribers as I'm recording this video. And even if it may sound like nothing compared to other channels, to me, this is just insane. Amazing, really. I am speechless, guys. So thank you one more time from the deep of my heart. Keep supporting me. Thank you. Without further ado, please keep sus subscribing and maybe why not join my Discord channel. All right, let's dive into today's deck. Since I felt like 150 ticks may feel like too much to afford for some people, I tried to, to build a deck around new Wild of Drain cards without exceeding, let's say, half that. So here we are playing the Mirror Fairies uh, around 70 ticks with brand new cards from Wilds of Eldrain, alongside some old staples and an old time favorite of mine. But let's go with order. The mana base is structured as it follows. Secluded Glen, Dark Slick Shores and Watery Grave, three of uh, the most affordable fetches, <laughs> Misty Rainforest and Skeletorn, three Cavern of Souls and four Basic Lands. The deck also packs a full playset of both Spell Status Sprite and Scion of Una. Pretty standardish cards for a fairy deck, I would say. And we also have the all time star Bitter Blossom alongside Brazen Borrower. Uh, talking about the new cards from Wilds of Eldrain, we have Fairy Dream Thief as a one drop and Sleep Cursed Fairy. Both these cards may look odd at first sight. But uh, especially the Sleep Cursed Fairy, it's going to be very strong. We have another new addition from a drain, uh, Obira, Dreaming Duelist in 3 copies. Obira is of course legendary, so we don't want too many copies at, uh, of her at the same time. Also, given the high presence of Beanstalk decks, I included a full playset of Fairy Masterminds. We complete the Creature Park with two Fallen Shinobi. This is simply insane. One hit from the shinobi in the current metagame, you are most probably going to die. Two copies? Because <laughs> why not? Uh, removals. Four fatal pushes. I know. I only have three fetches, so it's harder to trigger. Uh, fatal push abilities. I know. Drown in the lock counter spells and one for this worm to get rid of beanstalk bindings and just whatever creature hits the battlefield that we don't like as for the sideboard uh, i instantly put three narsets to hate on the beans void mirrors for the same reason line of the void because i don't want to die from any graveyard interactions i don't like you know uh dredge and um, uh, Reanimator decks such as uh, I don't know that uh, attracts a deck that is running around uh, um, and also leaving and uh, you know you're never safe against graveyard decks so four ley lines we can even cast them so that's okay two spare peers and a bunch of damping spheres unluckily this time I couldn't play two blossoming arms and I hope this isn't gonna hurt us. So, without any further doing, let's proceed with another modern league. Can we grab a trophy with this budget deck? Let's see together. Here we are for match number one, game one. We are on the play against Fabio Lopez. Our hand looks pretty decent. Four lands, a sleep curse fairy, fairy dream thief, and also a removal. Let's see what kind of deck we are facing. Fabio Lopez, Misty Rainforest, Zagoth Trium. Okay, no doubt. 4C, Cascade Beans. We play the Dream Thief. We keep the Scion on top. Another Dream Thief. Scion on top. We pass the turn. Back to the opponent. Opponent on taps, place a planes and pass back to us. We draw the Scion. 
we play the Water Grief untapped, but we don't want to play the Scion now. We want to play it in response to, I don't know, Fury triggers or something. Opponent casts a Leyline Binding on the Sleep Cursed Fairy, missing the fact that the Sleep Cursed Fairy has Ward 2. Opponent, probably cascading into beans. No, the Fairy. I play the Scion now. Uh, I really want the opponent to target uh, to target it, but probably I should have waited for the opponent to target something else and then play the Scion. But uh, I couldn't have because of the fairy abilities, so I had to play it in that instant. I attack and I kill the fairy and one damage to the opponent. Opponent plays Omnath. Draws a card. Pass back to us. But we flash the Scion of Una at the end of turn. So now we are on the edge of killing our opponent. As you can see, we do a lot of damage thanks to the Scion. Opponent casts with Solitude and exiles the Scion. In the upkeep, we kill with Drown in the Lock the Omnath. Opponent plays another the Fairy. Bounce the Leyline Binding, doesn't find a solution and we win game 1 against the Taiwan deck in the format. Ok, let's proceed and see game number 2. Here we are, game number 2 on the draw against 4C, Cascade Beans. Pretty decent hand from us. Seclude so Glen revealing the Sleep Curse Fairy and we pass the turn. We have many counters and removals and protection in form of Scion of Una in our hand. Opponent plays a Beanstalk, which we instantly destroy, losing two life thanks to Feed the Swarm. Our opponent, Shardless Agent, cascading into Beans, probably, yes. We are in danger. We draw the Shinobi, but no land to play it. Another Beanstalk. We counter it with spell set of sprite. Resolves. Opponent attacks. We don't care, we take the damage. Opponent passes. Water grave untapped. We go in for one damage. Opponent down to 14 and we pass the turn. We stayed open to whatever we we prefer to play, in this case, Fairy Mastermind to get another card. But opponent punish us with Fury. Targeting the Sleep Cursed Fairy <laughs> and fizzling the ability. I don't know what what's in this opponent mind, but really. Opponent down to 8. That was a huge mistake. Our opponent playing a Solitude. We draw one of the Fairy Mastermind. And we now play probably Scion of Una to protect the Fairy Mastermind. We have now Lethal on the board. Opponent is not in great shape and we managed to steal the win against 4C Cascade Beans with uh, Demir Ferris. I was impressed with the deck in, uh, in this game. We put clock, we counter it, uh, we removed a, a beanstalk. They had three beanstalk on the play. This wasn't enough. Uh, this was a, a really nice game, uh, I must admit. A bit of luck uh, from us, but also the opponent played a very strong hands. We turn two beanstalk, turn three beanstalk with fury and solitude. We, and we faced uh, winning. All of this, so I'm pretty excited to see match number two. Here we are, match number two. On the draw, uh, we mulligan, we keep against Tapino. Pretty standardish hand from us. Opponent is probably playing uh, Murktide. Dark Silk Shore, we pass the turn. I don't know yet, but I'm feeling like Peter Blossom is very strong against Murktide. Our opponent fetches. Down to 14 already. Ledger Shredder. Okay. Bubble. The Shredder connives. We are okay with that. Our opponent cracks the bubble. Look at our card. 
we top deck a push, but we don't have the the fetch to trigger. So we just play the bitter blossom and we pass the turn. Our opponent dashes in a ragavan. We are in great danger. Our opponent reveals a secluded gland which he can play. We push the ledger shredder. Our opponent bolts the fairy mastermind. We create another token. We attack. Opponent down to 13. Water grave on tap. We want to be able to play both uh, Obira and Spellsetter Sprite if needed. Obira end of turn. Opponent wants to bolt with Spellsetter Sprite. Our opponent counter spell it. So yeah, bolt resolves and Obira dies alongside Spellsetter Sprite. Bitter Blossom generating some value. We are winning this race. And we have two pushes in our hand. Expressive iteration, we don't like that, but we cannot do much about it. Our opponent tapped steam vents and passed the turn. We take one, but we now have four fairies on the battlefield. We attack with all we can. Our opponent down to seven, most probably. We pass the turn back to him, and the opponent just concedes with six card in hand. I don't know why, but he could have played a little bit. I don't know. Maybe he only had lands and cantrips. Uh, I don't know. Well, we managed to beat another Taiwan deck. We now proceed and let's discover what happened in um, game number two. Game number two, here we are on the draw again. We mulligan, we keep this hand with removals and counter spells. Opponent fetches, steam vents, and dragon's ray channeler. We top deck another push, we untap watery grave, and we kill the push. We don't want our opponent to see our spells, the sprite, so I decided to hide it and take the damage from the untapped watery grave. Opponent puts a channeler in the battlefield, in the graveyard. We now reveal the spell starter. We push the Dragon Rage Channeler. That ley line isn't the best, but perhaps we could cast it later in the game. Opponent fetches, grabs a basic island. Ledger Shredder, we cannot do much about that. Ledger is particularly strong against us because it flies. We pass the turn, we are lacking mana, and this isn't looking good for us for now. Our opponent expressive iteration. We counter spell. Our opponent steam vents tapped. Attack us for one. We take and passes back to us. Still no lands, so we pass the turn back to our opponent. Let's see if he connives. Playing two spells. We play a fairy mastermind in response. And opponent just unholy hits that. But since they connived, we draw one. They draw off the bubble, we draw. And we play the Bitter Blossom. Very strong card against Merktide. We are still lacking mana. I mean, we have 20 or 21 lands, I cannot remember. This is strange. Opponent attacking us. Down to 15. We generate our first uh, fairy via Bitter Blossom. Secure the Glen, revealing the spell starter. The opponent already knew about that. We pass the turn. Opponent attacks. We take the damage. I'm not risking Obira, and I don't want my fairies to die. Preordain. I'm thinking about that opponent resolves the preordain. Our opponent with a big merc died. We counterspell that. Counterspell resolves. Opponent connives. We pass the turn. We generate one more fairy with the bitter blossom. We draw another spell starter. We wanted the fourth land. 
to hit with Fallen Shinobi. But that's it. We passed the turn, opponent is winning the race, we are not happy about that. We can't spell another expressive iteration. Let's hope this resolves. Yes, it does. Opponent plays a channeler, conniving, discarding a spire bluff canal. Opponent attacking, we take the damage. We really need the fourth land. Yes, here comes the fourth land. Maybe we can do it, guys. Maybe we can do it. Opponent blocks, spell stutter, we fetch. We take back one fairy token, we ninjutsu the fallen shinobi. This is happening. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. We flipped fury and lightning bolt. Oh my god, guys. I am so sorry for my opponent. What were the odds? I mean, oh my god. I am so sorry for my opponent. What happened here is unbelievable. I told you guys. I told you guys about Fallen Shinobi. <laughs> what a flip, guys. What an insane flip. I, what were the odds? I, I could have just flipped uh, one land and one preordain. And the game surely wouldn't have been over. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my gosh. We are 2-0 with uh, a super budget-friendly deck. We beat two of the top tires deck in the format. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. And don't call this streamer's luck. Well, maybe this Fallen Shinobi flip was streamer's luck, but not the rest. The deck is, is feeling strong. <laughs> okay, I'm shocked. Let's go and see match number three. Match number three, here we are after that amazing performance. On the draw, we keep against Alex the Fern. Oh, we are playing against Scales. Scales is really popular. I faced Scales in every single one of my leagues so far. This is insane. Okay, Sleep Curse Fairy, our ace card on turn one over the fairy dream thief because we want the sleep curse fairy to untap okay our opponent got with the patchwork automation which is a scary cavern of souls into bitter blossom we pass back to the opponent opponent what are you doing uh, ancient steerings into grove of the barn willows we gain one, another Arden Escapes. Okay, that's scary. We generate one fairy. We see the drone in the lock, which we keep on top. Sleep Cursed Fairy is still sleeping. But we are soon breaking her curse. Okay, that Patrick automation is big. Very big. We take for damage. And in the end step, we flash in a fairy mastermind. We untap, we generate one fairy token. I play Scion of Una and swing with everything I can, bringing my opponent down to. No blocks? To 13. Opponent on taps. Place another automation. Oh god. Oh boy, a ravager. Okay. Oh god. Those creatures are very scary. I think I'm blocking only the 10 10. Oh, I, I block both creatures because otherwise, with the ravager, he could have just killed me. Of course. Ah, uh, what am I doing now? I attack only with the Sleep Cursed Fairy, so that I will have blockers for all of his creatures, even considering Inkmot Nexus. Oh god, okay. Yes, what I was expecting. I just have to block all the creatures on the battlefield. 
maybe I have lethal next turn. If I can flash in the fairy mastermind. Okay, so the guy is hacking everything. He's probably sucking the Ravager to the Inkmot Nexus, which I will kill Brown in the lock. Can I do that? Yes, I can. So for next turn, I still have Sleep Curse Fairy, Fairy Mastermind and a Fairy Rogue token open to combat. And that should be enough to kill my opponent. Scion of Una. I attack with three blockers, opponent down to three. And I have a blocker for every single one of his creatures. He has no cards in hand. He attacks with everything. I will just block one by one his creatures. They don't have trample nor anything else. We are still alive and most probably we're gonna win this. We on top, we attack and we win game one. Match number three against another tire deck. Insane results. No further speaking and go to ma match number three, game number two. Game number two against scales, match number three. Here we are. Alex the Fern with scales. We keep our hand. Removals, counter spells. We're fine. Scales. We have the Feed the Swarm for that, just in case. Seclude the Glen, revealing the Scion of Una. We don't want our opponent to know about the spell starter. We pass the turn. Opponent. Patchwork Automaton, sure. Unluckily the Patchwork has Ward 2. We draw a Mastermind. We still reveal the Scion of Una. We break the scales. We feed the swarm, we pass the turn. Agatha's Soul's Cauldron, another scary card. But opponent, I think he mulligan to four. Yes. We're happy about that, but I'm sorry for you, opponent. No lands, still. Ancient Steerings. We counter that with Spell Status Prime. The Ozolith. Okay. God. Scales is very dangerous, guys. Never underestimate that deck can pull off so many damage out of nowhere. We go in for one damage, but we are really suffering. Opponent exiles a card. For drowning the lock. That's why they are exiling cards, even if they don't matter, because they want to empty their graveyard to prevent us from casting drowning the lock. We play the Fairy Mastermind and swing our opponent. Opponent swung back to us. And plays a Saga. We snack in an Obira. Finally we draw a land. We reveal the sign of Funa we were hiding all this time. Obira triggers, drains our opponent for one. We go in for many damage. Opponent down to five. And opponent concedes, we beat another tire deck. I mean, the opponent was pretty unlucky this time, but still we did our job. Um, and we also were mana screwed, so not only the opponent was unlucky, but we were a bit too. This was not an optimal end. And Fit the Swarm uh, is a very strong card in the current metagame. Really, don't underestimate that. Okay guys, we are chasing another trophy. I'm so happy about that. Results I never expected before. Um, let's go match number four and maybe we can grab another trophy or at least a 4-1, who knows.
here we are, match number four against Alarif. We are on the draw again. Not much luck this time. Wake Heap, what is the opponent playing? Scalding Tarn, another Murktide. We go Scalding Tarn too and pass the turn. Opponent Steam Bands, yeah. Oh, the Worldly Gates, oh no. Oh god, no, oh god. Dredge. Okay. That was a pretty nice start from the opponent. Another thrilling discovery. We ready ourselves to kill some creatures, but this is already looking. Oh god, oh god. My gosh. I think we are already done, guys. I don't think we can do much. Luckily, we have Leyline of the Void in the sideboard. But still, I don't think we can do much. Okay, I guess. I just conceded because too much pressure on the battlefield. I, I don't think I could have done anything. So sad. I wonder why people don't play Dredge anymore. This is super strong and fast. That was turn two. Okay, well, uh, I stop crying and go game number two on the play against Dredge. We have the ley line and we have a Sleep Girls Fairy. That's fine. Secluded Glen. And the opponent just concedes. Most probably they didn't thought about the ley line, so they didn't brought in any removals for the ley line. So they weren't prepared. Well, that was the fastest match I've ever had. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can do this again. Game 3 against Dredge. We have another ley line and a curve. City of Breath, opponent is confident now. I'm scary. I'm scared. Island, surveying the island on the graveyard. Opponent has tear, of course. Here got our game. Okay, opponent is taking some damage. Maybe we can raise them. Opponent has this. Okay, a good start. They missed the the, the Narcomiba, so Price the Magum isn't hitting the battle for this turn. Let's see what the opponent does. Another Cathartic Reunion? We counter that. They take two. They pass the turn back to us. We attack for one, which is not much. We have another counter spell. Okay, they hit the Narcomiba. And the two Amalgams. They take two. What spell are they casting? The Ox. Okay. I should have kept the Ox for... The, the Drown in the Lock for the Ox. Did I have the spell starter before? No, I think I was forced to Drown and I didn't add the starter. Well... Maybe we can raise them. I Obira. We're still at 19. I go in for 3 damage. Opponent down to 8. We play an untapped water grave. But opponent sees another creeping shield. They go in for whatever they can. We take everything. Go down to 2. Opponent down to 10. Another ox, we counter spell. Flashing the fairy mastermind before for maximum damage. Okay, we need to top deck a scion. If we top deck the scion, we win. No scion, we're dead. Unluckily, because we were close to win. We attack with everything. Opponent down to three, we play. We try to draw a card with Mastermind, but nothing happens. So 
we were only two point of damage away from stealing a win from Dredge just by erasing them with no hate other than a drown in the lock and the counter spell. Because they instantly killed the ley line. Okay, 3 1. Last match, I hope we can win and still get the 4 1 because the deck is feeling pretty solid and really fun to play. So let's pray we will not face another unfair deck like this once more. Let's go and match number 5. Okay, here we are again on the play. Sorry, on the draw. I keep on confusing that. Against Eldest X94. Oh god, no, no. What was I saying about. Oh god. Those unfair decks. Okay, fair dream thief. We put the land uh, surveilling in the graveyard. We passed the turn. Not looking good for us. Another goblin guide. The worst. We don't block. That's pointless. Dark Sleek Shores fit the swarm on the Goblin Guide. We hit back for one. But we are already down to 13. But opponent missed the land drop. And here comes the land drop. Fatal push on the top. Which is fine. Down to 11. Rift Bolt coming in. Another Rift Bolt coming in. We are pretty done, I think. We fatal push the Goblin Guide. We look for an island. We want to counterspell one of the bolts. Back with the Dream Thief. Opponent down to 14. <laughs> That's a bit too much for my tastes. Uh, counterspell the Rift Bolt. Okay. The other one resolves. We're down to 7. Skewer the critics down to 4. I don't think we can survive this. <laughs> we need a miracle. Not a fairy mastermind, a miracle. <laughs> Where are my blossoming guns? Oh god. Yeah, we surveyed that in the graveyard. Bolt. And I just concede because they will surely have another bolt. And they are at 12 life, so... Okay, that's sad. Let's go and see game number two. Game number two, finally on the play. With Mulligan, we have a more interactive hand now. Dark Sleek Shore, past the turn. We have a Fatal Push for whatever creature they may play. Cobbling Guide, okay. We let the trigger resolve. Let's see if we grab a land. No, we don't. A counter spell on the top. Which we cannot play. We pass the turn back to them. Our opponent passes to us. We pass the turn back to them. Our opponent does nothing. We flash in Obira. We draw an island. Nice top deck. We attack with Obira. Opponent lightning bolts. I think we made a mistake here. Our opponent can now easily searing blades of iron. Yeah, they're doing that. Sorcery speed. Yes. I think I made a mistake. I don't know. Maybe I should have kept the counter spell. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Secluded clan tapped. We don't have any fairies. Opponent 5, 6 cards in hand. We have 2. Not looking great. Opponent passes. Let's see what we can do. Spell Stutter is strong against Burn, but uh, vulnerable to, of course, Searing Blades. Score crack. We take that. That's the least mana efficient card that they have. They pass the turn. We draw. An island? Not good. Where were all these lands in the past games? Oh, come on. We take that down to 11. Lightning Bolt. Now we flash in the starter. 
we counter that. But still down to 11. Our opponent does nothing. Back to us. Secluded Glen, really? Okay. We attack with the spell stutter. I don't usually complain that much, but we are being very unlucky these games. Uh, I didn't counter it because that was uh, one damage only, Searing Blaze. And our opponent is destroying us. I counter spell the Skewer, and I want to kill the Monastery's Whisper. We drown in the lock, which I did. I draw Fatal Push, not what I wanted. I think Obira was the best card here. Opponent Monastery is with here, so the push is not bad in this case. We push that. Okay. 7 to 7, opponent one card in hand. We draw. A watery grave, okay. We fake a counter spell. We're bluffing now. Not of much use. Opponent draws with some Beckett Canyon. Three cards in hand now. Misty Rainforest? Okay. We are still bluffing. Opponent still three cards in hand. Spell Pierce, not bad, not good. We have more than 20 creatures, guys. What is happening? Opponent passes, four cards in hand. Scion of Una, okay, that's good. We can flash it in the end step. Opponent. Drawing one, okay, scary. Are we flashing the Scion? Less, yes we are. Okay, Scion hits the battlefield. What we draw? Sleep Cursed Fairy, which is a good clock in my opinion. We can untap that a few times to win the race. Opponent down to six. Sleep Cursed Fairy, opponent fetches down to four. Searing Blades with Spell Pierce, of course. Why did they do that? Scion as a Shroud. Will Searing Blades hit me even if the Scion has a Shroud? I don't know. Firecraft down to three and here comes the Skewer the Critics. We fake a card spell but we don't have anything and we just die. Here we are guys, 3-2 at the end of this league. We only died to uh, this unlucky game and two unfair decks. You know, you gotta be prepared to face those decks. We had the ley line for dredge. We had nothing to burn. It's up to you whether you choose to sideboard in something or not against burn. So that's it. Still, thank you for watching this league. This was an amazing ride with some incredible plays we, we did. I had so much fun and uh, as usual, see you in the wrap up. 3-2, uh, not disappointing at all. That's still a pretty good result for a budget deck such as this one with so many cards we I never played in any other decks. Sweet addition from Wilds of Eldraine, very good expansion. I had so much fun with that. Uh, what else can I say? In the sideboard, maybe I could cut one Narset and one Void Mirror, since we handled it very well for C Cascade Beans. And I will probably add some hate for Burn. I don't know, Dragon Claw Talisman, Dragon Claw, whatever it was, that artifacts, uh, two mana, you gain one life whenever a player plays a, thread, plays a red spell. That card could have been useful. 
I don't know, I just hate losing to burn. Uh, as for everything else, uh, the deck felt great and Feed the Swarm did an amazing job. I think I want more Feed the Swarm in the deck. I could probably cut one Fatal Push that is not really working properly in this deck with only three fetches. And also Fairy Mastermind was good, put a very good clock and draw us a few cards against 4C uh, Cascade Beans, but I could cut one. We never saw the Brazen Barbower. The only time we saw that was against the Scales and we couldn't play it on the Automaton because it had Word 2 and we were stuck on two lands. So I'm not sure about that, but it's always a good card, so I cannot remove that. And also Counterspell did a great job, Bitter Blossom was great, Obira was great, the deck was great and I am happy I played this league. And we are at the end of this uh, little video. Thank you guys once more um, for this amazing uh, league we, we, just, uh, we just played. Uh, if you cannot afford cards and you want to play uh, on Magic Online, I am using a loan card uh, service from Card Hoarder. I will leave you the link uh, in the description so you can do it yourself. Two or three or four dollars a week can afford you an entire competitive modern deck such as this one or the affinity one or the food one I recently played. I am not sponsored in any way by Card Hoarder. I just think their service is great. Uh, okay, if you liked the video, please uh, let me know why and uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't like the video, also let me know why and give me some feedbacks as some people are already doing in my comments. And uh, also, please join the brewing Discord I created so we can talk about decks and uh, brews and uh, changes and leaks and whatever um, in a much easier way than just commenting on uh, under my videos like we are doing now. Uh, I only have one people in my Discord right now, so it's not much of a conversation. And uh, okay, uh, I'm glad you watched uh, this video and uh, thank you again. Stay tuned because another Budget Magic the Gathering video with a nice result is coming soon. See you in the next video guys and thank you one more from the bottom of my heart.